What's good, everybody? It's Makai, aka Chef Mac. And today I got a little video for you guys. We went over carne asada burritos with shrimp, rice, and guacamole. I ain't got much else to say than that, so let's get to cooking. All right, we're gonna be trying something a little different today. Usually, I just say all the ingredients at the start or halfway, but we just gonna say them as we go. The fresh garlic, your cilantro, your lime, your brown sugar, salt, pepper, and soy sauce, olive oil, cumin, and vinegar. Bond to add your skirt steak and let that carne asada marinate for four hours. Bane and cut your shrimp, you add your salt, pepper, garlic, onion, cayenne, chives, red pepper flakes, turmeric, chili powder, and lime. The shrimp bring all the spice that mixes the rice. And get your pot, put your vegetable on in it, then you want to add your rice to your choice and use some brown rice. Keep it simple and subtle with the flavor and also to balance out with that spice with some salt, pepper, sage, and thyme, rosemary. Now we're about to come flex that guacamole, get your avocado, put your knife in, cut it all around. Gonna scoop out the flesh of the avocado. Yeah, they call it flesh, just like they call coconut meat. You know what I'm saying? It don't make no sense to me. But you're gonna come over there, take the core out by digging your knife in and twist and count the clockwise, and scoop the rest in. Get your tomato, top, bottom off, slice and dice them. It's gonna add that bittersweet flavor as well as help reduce some of that spice with the acid in it. Go ahead and wash that knife off after and clean off that cutting board from that tomato juice. You're gonna come right into your yellow pepper. Bottom seeds is gone, but instead of slicing and dicing them, you're just gonna slice them because you're gonna let them fry a long way. I ain't no funny, my phone bugged out and didn't let me record that part of me cutting my onion, but I ain't gonna stress it. So after you dice up your onion, you're gonna cut your lime too, make sure your guacamole is all mixed and mush, then you're gonna start adding your stuff. Guacamole takes a least amount of time to prepare, so I recommend that you do it at the start while your carne asada is marinating in the fridge and your shrimp as well. Give it that more mm, and let that flavor really speak for itself. Add your fresh ingredients. Do not touch that yellow pepper. Then you're gonna add your salt, pepper, lime, chili powder, cilantro, and combine it together. After four hours, you're gonna grab your carne asada and your shrimp. Then you're gonna get your two pans, put your oil and butter in there, and then you're gonna fry them up. Take four minutes to cook and the steak not long after. So after that's done, you're gonna toss your yellow peppers in that fawn and let them fry up. So this is the best bar right here. So you're gonna come over to your burrito, start making all your sour cream, your steak, your shrimp. You're gonna put down your rice, your cheese, wrap them up, send the next one, get ready to go. You're gonna put butter on them so you can start frying them and give that nice crunch to them. Nah, this got me rubbing my hands here like bird man, the way I've been flexing this. Don't let nobody tell you how much filling to put in your burrito. If they can't do it, they're not you. Alright, so boom, there you guys have it. Your carne inside of burritos with shrimp, rice, and guacamole. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the continued support. I just made it to top 10, so you know I'm gonna take us to top 5 and then 1. I'm gonna keep working hard, being consistent with these videos. Just remember to vote me for your favorite chef. And I'm gonna holla at y'all next time.